Tone Lounge at the Institute of Tone Science in downtown Greensboro. Megatone Amps presents the Talk of Tarotas with Lezo and Dre. Featuring Chuck Cotton and the Talk of Tarotas Rim Shack. Wesso and Drave and the talk of Toronto's. I'm Wesso. And I'm Drave, and we are so excited. We finally, this show is off the road, and we, we're, we're uh, starting here. we got a nice audience here in, in the Megatone Studios. We've got a great guest. So tell who our guest is tonight, Wesso. Our guest is the fabulous Martha Bassett. Martha and Bassett. You know she is sumptuous. She so. is sumptuous. So the format is going to be this. Uh, we're going to talk about an interesting topic each week that's kind of relevant to our lives, and hopefully, hopefully will be helpful to everybody, and then we're going to have a musical segment, and really it, it's, it's kind of all about the music, but it's really not about the music, it's really, this show is all about us. It really is all about us, and our musical guests, because, you know, we are, we are tight, I mean, super power, mega tight, right. with all the, the fabulous regional, there's so many um, great musicians that we're tight with all. Local, regional, uh, fabulous musicians, we've, we've got cats who... Who play like on the road with the Temptations? We do. I.e. Wally West coming up with the next going to be one of our guests. But you know, right now we've got this uber fabulous, sumptuous, sumptuous fabulous yeah. person. Sumptuous and, and in, in many ways. And it's our it's our first it's our first chick guest. Yeah. And maybe, I mean, the way it's going, maybe our only chick guest because she is so fabulous. Yeah. It's Martha Bassett. Martha Bassett. So the, the segment for this week that we're going to talk about, the topic for this week, is, you know, the, the, as times get worse and it gets hard for, with, with economic problems, it's hard to make ends meet, you can't, don't have enough money to buy groceries sometimes. Yeah, I mean, really, it's happening to everybody yeah. now. It's not just a few people. Um, so so the, people are coming up with ingenious ways to kind of take their minds off of the troubles of the world and, and do other pursuits, like music, like art. But a lot of people have collections. The, the, they, they, the, New York Times, the, the New York Times just had an article, and the, the amount of collecting per person in the United States per capita has gone up 20% just of in course, the past two years. Of course it has, and why wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. you know, everyone wants to collect. Everyone's got a secret, I want to collect this kind of thing. I, don't. And I, I, understand, know, I understand you have a very interesting I, I do. I, I've got a background in, in not collections, and it all started out when I was selling shoes at Shoe Town. You have tried to keep this wood not collection secret well, from us, but I have news for you. I took our crack fil film crew. Now, wait a minute. When when like, no, while you and April no, were down, Dave, and we, uh, film, no. we have film of your wood not collection. We talked about this. Yes. No, Dave, we don't have wait, film wait a minute. about Who this. Is this? Help me. What is that? Ladies and gentlemen, this Let me is Chris, him Ferris, out here. Chris Ferris, our social producer. Uh, look, Dave, we don't have but, the budget for those kind of things. We, we're not a road crew. We, do. we don't go on the road. No, we, we talked, talked about, about this. It. We said yeah. we were going to do it at the we, Monday meeting. You no, know, at the meeting we said we weren't going to do it. I mean, and you were going to edit it and put it all together. No, we don't have a crew. We don't. Have it is what right it is. Here. We don't have the footage. Okay. We decided we did. We couldn't afford. You know to you are. It. I, 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 I'm sorry. So I, I, you what, let's, let's I just... apologize, everybody. I'm sorry. I, 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 I well, took let's... it out on Chris. He's doing a great. That's Chris it. Ferris. And Mel Chris D, Ferris. the collaborative, are producing the show, and he's doing a great job. And I, I shouldn't have opened up the show. Well, like let's that. get back to our music. I apologize. I'll just that. make sure I have your complete attention when we okay. have our next I, I, meeting. I, you've got it. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's got it. Let's get. Let's, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You hear that knocking? I do. That might be our first musical. What is Martha Bassett? Martha Bassett, like you do. Shit, guest. I'm honored your to be Your actual first guest, but you're, you know, more than that. And by the way, the word chick. It doesn't bother her. It doesn't. She doesn't mind. You know what? Because she's a chick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so we were talking earlier, and we're so glad that you're here, by the way. Thank you, guys. We were talking about about people who collect things earlier. Yes. And we know through the grapevine that you collect something that begins with a B. Um, could you elaborate on that? Bible. Please? Bibles. I bet it is. Bibles. She collects well, actually, she collects a couple of different things. <laughs> the first one that I'm thinking of and, and trying to, you know, do the mind thing with you Literally. to get I you think, to talk I think about. I know what you're talking about. It begins with a B. Could you elaborate on that? Yes, what do you collect with a B? Actually, bees. Get out of here. Bees. bees. 
B's. You mean letter B's? You have a bunch of letter B's uh, around your house? B apostrophe B's with stingers. Oh, oh. stingers. Ooh. And uh, I'm not actually a collector, I'm more of a keeper, but keeper. really with B's you just have to be the best host that you can be because they choose to be with you, to be with you. Oh, of course. And, um, of course they do. <laughs> so you're, the, the, you're the B host where's of all hosts. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Yes. So how do you host a B? How, well, how do you keep, how do you make that I mean, do you collect them one at a time? Or do you get like a bunch of them? You um, you start with a little mass of them, and then they just a start. mass. How many is a mass? Uh, about eight thousand, I believe. Is that that? That's the mass. That's mass to m equals e eight thousand. Equals mc squared. Okay. That, that's that's about you know. And you know, Einstein did talk about how the bees are so important. Right. That's true. Okay. Right. But please, you know, we're screwed without them. Well, right. yeah. We don't do a good job hosting them. Have you actually noticed that in your? You mean giving them like or hosting them? Both. Okay. So the bee population but, is somehow in, in trouble. How many bees yes. do you think you might have? Well, a, I was not thinking exact, about that. Um, I have five active hives, and they uh, average about 60,000 a hive, so about 300,000. Wow, that's a lot of bees. Oh, my God. And didn't you yeah. say that they got in the, that's got mad. Inside, didn't you say they got in the car with you once, and you were when, driving around? When you buy them uh, in those little um, nukes, is what they're right. called, a, a nucleus. A nuke? A nuke. Oh, my God. Yeah, if you buy a nuke, you have to... Take it home and Do put it in your you car. You can buy them. nukes on yes. the open market. And you put them in a hive and they just start uh, raising Nuking? baby bees. Do they nuke? They, they do the nuke. They do the nuke. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that sounds so dangerous. You have to wear protective clothing. Yes, for I wear your a bee suit and uh, like a hazmat suit. Yeah, to be around the nukes. in the front. I can dig it. And sometimes they, they get in if you don't zip it. Did right you here. bring any bees tonight? I didn't bring any tonight, but I, I can. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. We'll, we'll do that sometime we'll in the future. We'll have sometime you on again. Okay. And you bees. can bring, like, how many would you bring? Like 300,000 bees? No, I would only bring about 60,000. Okay. okay. Uh, one nuke? Uh, well, when you buy the nuke, it's a small amount, and then they. Form how many is in a nuke? Uh, only about 80,000. We know that there's 80,000 in a mass. <laughs> M equals 80,000. I remember that from the earlier segment. Yes. So, is a new okay, Rizzo, than Rizzo, a, did, right, did you just stop? <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? No one can do You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, she, by the way, Leave by, her alone. By the way, Dre, I don't know if you knew this, but she is an uber fabulous, sumptuous singer. Just yeah, and we're gonna and sing. songwriter. We're gonna sing oh, a great. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's back up. Let's back up just a smidge. We know she's an uber fabulous, sumptuous. super power, sumptuous mega man who sings, plays guitar, and collects any projects coming up or anything like that. By the way, uh, my my friend Dr. Dragon would like me to ask you because <laughs> we're not sure that that he's on the same planet with us right now, but. What other kind of projects do you have going? I know you've got projects. I do. I mean, someone like you, you kind of have a bunch of projects. What is it? What well, what's going on right now is that I'm about to release a uh, a disc of live music from the Carolina Summer Music oh, Festival. Of course you are. So it's with the uh, Carolina Chamber Jazz <laughs> Players. Oh my goodness, Winston this guy's good. They are very good. And, and this is a live um, thing? It's a live thing. Oh, yeah. the What's that going to be? I think Wally West plays on that in that he group. Does. And he's going to he be does. one of our upcoming guests. Who, who, else is on, who else is in that group? Uh, Ken Wilmot plays Kenny. trumpet. Oh my gosh, Matt I love Hedrick it. on bass. John I Wilson love on him. Drums. Federico Pavetta on Yeah, who's playing drums? John Wilson. Oh, of course he is. And Jackie Carrasco is on fiddle. Oh my oh, God. They're all great. That sounds like an awesome conglomeration it of is. musicians. And the name of the record is called Blues in the Night. And Blues in the Night. And that's the song we're going to do. That's the song we're going to do. We're going to do that song later on in the yes. segment, aren't we? And then you also have an Americana album coming out. Or I do. I guess you yes. describe it as Americana. It would be Americana, and that'll be with the Martha Bassett Band, which is Sam Frazier, Pat Lawrence, uh, Ben Singer, uh, Eddie Walker, and probably some guests in there as well. well Pat Jack Heavy Hitters. Pat is going to produce that, who also produced the last album. Yes. And Pat used to play in the Day Fox group. Yes. The very, the second incarnation of the Day Fox group. I'll be done. So well, it comes around, goes around. It does. Or whatever. Well, that's going to be great. All right, that was a lot of fun on the couch, Martha. And we learned a lot about you and your bees. Um, let's go ahead and, and, um, and make this song.
this Johnny Mercer song, Blues in the Night, our, let's make it our own. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you, Wes. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you, Wazzo. Thank you, Chuck Cotton on the drums. Thank you, Timothy Rogers on the announcing microphone. We'd like to thank the Collaborative for producing this and being the camera work. And Megatone Studios for the, this wonderful studio. And we'll remember, you. folks, it's, it's all about us. us.